The four feeding methods to provide enteral nutrition are continuous, cyclic, intermittent, and bolus. These can be achieved using a mechanical feeding pump or gravity drip. The exception to this is bolus feeding, which is primarily done with a catheter tip syringe. The continuous method is when formula is infused 24 hours per day. An advantage of a continuous infusion is that it's an easy way to determine tolerance at initiation of tube feeding. A disadvantage is that it can become a burden for patients who are alert and active. The cyclic method is when formula is infused for less than 24 hours. A common use of the cyclic method is nocturnal feeding. Nocturnal feeding can be useful because it maximizes mobility and activity throughout the day and can avoid feelings of fullness before mealtimes for patients who have the capacity to eat by mouth. A disadvantage of a cyclic regimen is that the reduced time spent feeding results in a higher feeding rate than a continuous infusion. Both continuous and cyclic infusions are considered to be low maintenance for nursing staff since the feeding pump is adjusted infrequently. The intermittent and bolus methods align more closely with normal eating patterns. Intermittent feeding is when formula is infused for 20 to 60 minutes, 3 to 6 times per day. An advantage of an intermittent infusion is that it avoids the need to provide tube feeding overnight. A disadvantage is that the patient must be able to tolerate a large volume of formula at once, which is not always feasible. Last but not least, bolus feeding is when formula is infused for less than 10 minutes, 3 to 6 times per day. Bolus feeding can be particularly useful because it allows for a high amount of mobility and activity, especially when you consider that the supplies are easily transported out of the patient's home. Bolus feeding also avoids the need to provide tube feeding overnight. However, the patient must be able to tolerate a large volume of formula at once. Finally, both intermittent and bolus infusions are considered to be high maintenance for nursing staff since they are more time consuming than continuous and cyclic. Thank you for watching. Check out these videos for more content just like this.